little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. School project. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. No, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! Yes, yes! Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, uh, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> And some great news! You can see Peppa and many more of your milkshake friends in the brand new Milkshake magazine, available in all good retailers. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little 
Brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mummy Pig's book. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty ninety ten million hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> <laughs> my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book, so we must listen politely even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <coughs> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh... Well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. And some great news. You can see Peppa and many more of your milkshake friends in the brand new Milkshake magazine. Available in all good retailers. My 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. Peppa and George are visiting <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Peppa and George. <laughs> George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes! Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone! Mmm! Mmm! Marvellous tomatoes! Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm! Beautiful basil! Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever! <laughs> <laughs> and some great news! You can see Pepper and many more of your milkshake friends in the brand new Milkshake magazine. Available in all good retailers. <laughs>